My biggest challenge was I felt like I didn't have a purpose. Mm -hmm. And that's because in my normal life, I'm always giving. Yeah. As a teacher, I give. Mm. As a, you know, as a servant at church, I get, you know, I'm mm. always doing something yes. for somebody else. Mm. So during the lockdown, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it was very challenging for me to find a purpose in my personal space. Mm. Yeah. And it was hard mm -hmm. because I wasn't used to thinking about myself mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. So, I had to really lean on God and ask God to reveal to me, what can I do for myself right now that will help me to get in alignment with his will? Yeah. That will help me to, you know, even know him more, you know? And so throughout the course of like two weeks, you know, I went through the process, I'm going through the motion of like, you know, praying and, um, really looking at me mm. and you know God took me to a nice level of peace mm. where he's like Erica yes you've always done something for somebody mm -hmm. always always busy 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 doing yeah. something for somebody else rest mm. and I'm like I can rest mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. literally right. take a nap mm -hmm. or just do nothing mm -hmm. It's okay to do nothing. <laughs> and I didn't understand that. So I did it. I'm like, wow, this is pretty cool. Yeah. And my mind became clear. Mm -hmm. My, you know, even my, my prayers became clear when I would express them to God. Yeah. I wasn't like all over the place trying to like hit every, you know, hit every point, purpose, yeah. purpose, 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 you know, all that. So God gave me that gift of peace mm -hmm. and rest.